In this video, we are creating the Shisha dogs, which is the Okinawan traditional artifact or decorations that's derived from the Chinese guardian lion. I created this as a commission for a fellow creator, Doc Rock. People usually place the Shisha on the rooftop or on both sides of the gate to the house. They are believed to have guard and protect people and the house from evils. Looking out from the house, the female shisha with the mouth closed is always placed on the left and the male with an open mouth to the right. Now, let's get started on this project. sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hey everyone, this is Steve from Scar Art Glass. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope you enjoy this video on the Shisha Commission project. All right, right now I'm cutting out the outside edges of the Shisha project. This is just a smaller color version of it. So I'm cutting these portions out right now. And then I will come back and cut out Shisa 1 and Shisa 2. Here I wanted to slow down and show you the deep inner cut that I had on this particular project. First I scored a line and then I scored the main line that I needed on the back side of this piece. And then I scored an extra line on the inner between the two score marks to create an extra area to remove. This makes it a lot easier to remove a deep inner cut like this. I use my grossing pliers and I take off the first layer.
and then I go in and for the second layer remember you're kind of pulling down and pulling away at the same time and I'm just exerting enough pressure to create the crack along the uh, score line and then I take my grossing pliers and I just start nibbling away at the pieces of glass and just take away the glass slowly to create that inner curve and now I'll just let the grinder do the rest of the work as you can see I left a piece on the main piece where all the other pieces were that was because I wanted to take out the inner curve with extra glass to support that deep of an inner curve. Now I'll go ahead and cut all the piece, the rest of the piece off. Here's the dry fit after all the pieces are cut and the grinding has been done. Now our next step is to foil. I start up in the upper right corner and find an inside edge where there will be a solder bead and I will foil my pieces this way. You want to make sure that you're centered on the glass and slowly make your way around, uh, ensuring that you're staying center. Then once you're all the way around, then you can go ahead and pinch down your foil and go about burnishing your foil to ensure you've got a nice, good, smooth edge and good adhesion to the glass. I'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the foiling. Now sometimes, depending on the piece, I will sometimes use my table foiler and makes it a lot quicker for me to foil the piece. It all depends on the curves and the deepness of those curves and the different changes in the piece as well. Here is the dry fit with all the foiling done and the wire work completed. All right, we are back and we are ready to solder the Shisha Dog project together. I went ahead and I've done the wire work and made my curly uh, coils for the different areas that I'm going to attach wire to. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tack solder uh, pieces together and we're going to also tack solder the wire pieces on as well and then I will flip it over and do all the soldering on the back and then I will come back and do the final bead solder on the front so let's go ahead and get started
Okay, now I've got all the wiring uh, pieces soldered on. Now I'm ready to go ahead and do my first base on the front side. Um, here I do a flat solder bead all the way across to set a foundation. Um, and I'm actually gonna use 50-50 solder for this. And that will give me a good foundation for when to come back with my 60-40. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. All right, I've got the first flat bead solder on my finish side done. Uh, I'm gonna flip it over, let it cool, and then we'll come back and we'll do the back side completely. And then we'll flip it back over and we'll do the final bead on the front side. I finished the bead on the front side, put some came edging on the outer edge, added my jump rings, patinaed it black, added some additional details to the piece with black glass paint, cleaned and waxed the piece, and added my chain. Ensure to like the video and leave any comments in the comments section below. Now stay tuned for a quick video on this Sunday's Artist Spotlight interview. Hope to see you there. Hey everyone, this is Steve from Score Art Glass. Have you ever wanted to meet a badass stained glass artist? Well, I have a treat for you. I'll be interviewing a stained glass artist that literally has badass written in her name. So they gotta be a full-blown stained glass badass, right? The SG Live Network is bringing you our next live Artist Spotlight interview on August 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. SG Live's guest artist is badass stained glass very own Hannah Gregory. Hannah produces beautiful stained glass artwork with a modern twist, but uses the traditional stained glass technique. She is truly a badass when it comes to stained glass. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be part of this interview. I hope to see you on August 1st at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come meet an awesome stained glass artist. I know you'll like her.